Okay, on this problem, we're given two functions. These are named g of x and h of x, kind of label them a little bit bigger up here. Um, and we're told that f of x is defined to be g composed with h of x. So what that means is h of x is being plugged into g of x, that function. So our goal is to find the derivative of f at one. So because we have a function inside of another function, this is gonna to indicate to us that we need to use the chain rule. And as I go through and write this out, I'm first gonna write it out and then we'll gather all the information that we need from our graphs. So to accomplish this, the chain rule says you take the derivative of the outer function, g in this case, and you leave h alone. The inner function is left alone. Um, I went ahead and I put one in as I went because we're looking for f prime of one. And then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the inner function. So h prime, and again, the same x value at this point of one. All right, so now we've written out all the things we kind of want to find. Let's go through one at a time and find these. So we aren't going to be able to find h, or sorry, g prime yet. So I'll leave the outer function alone, the, the g prime. And let's focus on h of one. So h of one is gonna indicate use h's graph over on the right-hand side. If I want a x value of one, looks to me like that's gonna be this point up here on our graph, which is, I believe, 2.5. So we could write out h of one equals 2.5 or um, five halves, just like the ordered pair one comma 2.5 is on this graph. So let's say 2.5 multiplied by, now let's go ahead and calculate what is h prime of one. All right, so I can get rid of this. h prime of one, again, we're using h's, that, h's graph over on the right-hand side. An x value of one gives us the same ordered pair that we're focused on, on our graph. However, when we're talking about the derivative of h at one, we're talking about the slope of the tangent line. All right, so if we wanted to calculate the slope of this tangent line, I think I'd maybe start here with my counting and think rise over run. If I go up one, and to the right two, it's all this exact same line. So up one, right two, corresponds with rise over run, up one, right two, that would be a slope of one half. All right, now we're not quite done. We haven't dealt with G prime of 2.5 yet. So with G prime, the derivative of G at 2.5, we're gonna locate 2.5 on our G of X's graph. Um, 2.5 for an x value is right about here. Find the point on our graph. And now we want to calculate what's the slope. Remembering that derivative means slope of tangent line. So this looks like a nice straight line going on here. If I started maybe here, I can go down one, two, and to the right one, down two, and right one corresponds with down two and right one. Can replace g prime of 2.5. And we'll plug in our one half going on here. As we multiply these together, you can go ahead and say, well, that's negative two over positive two, right? Multiply numerators together, multiply denominators together, which simplifies down to be negative one. All right, so that's how you'd work one of these where it's a composition of functions going on, as opposed to if they define f of x some other way, if it was a product of functions or something else. All right, hope this helps. Good luck on it. See you next time.